the RTX 2070. You see the 2070 down there. And this one's Samsung memory. The last ADR6 was Micron memory. I don't know if that'll matter. We'll see. So let's just get right into the clock. So out of the box, we're at 35.2 at 170 full system. All right, let's see if this is stable with 1,000. We're at 196, so we're definitely using a little more juice there, running a full 1,000 on it. And we're at 40.8. Straight away to 61. Oh, it won't even let me take it down to 61. 71 is it. It will not let me go any lower than that. 40.7 at about 145 watts with a plus 1,000 and a 71 power limit. Now, the for reference, the 1070 bone stock on the Amped Extreme Edition, which is really the juiced up one, does about 13 mega hash on Prog Pal to give you a... Now, memory doesn't really serve it much at all. So let's first try to feed it more power. 19, it definitely does. So we are stretching the... Uh, the core was was being hampered by the 100% power limit. So giving it more power, get let the core slide up to 1740. And now we're at 19.86. So we gained a little bit, but not a ton, like 0.86 from just feeding it more power. But we went up about 25 watts. Just core settings with the clocks turned all the way down, or the uh, power limit turned all the way down. It'll probably settle somewhere around 9, 15, 90, 97, yeah, around there. We'll just call it an even 16 at 143 watts. There's no sense of doing the base overclock. I don't think we'll be able to increase the, let's do a plus 50, let's see if it's possible. But I don't think that there's enough power to drive it on Prog Pal to, it was at 1770, let's see if it can hold. Okay, so it thinks it's gonna do 1935, but the moment that algorithm hits, it's gonna drop it. So it did, it now over 18 with the plus 50 on the core. Oh, we broke 20, but I did have to feed it more power. But it's really not, adjusting the amount of power. So even though I have it at 114, oh, there it goes, 230, so 20.62. Let's try 18 bit tube. No, this, oh, no, not 18, it's gonna be. So look at that hash rate. That's a thousand hash right now in an RTX 2070. So that's actually exceeding most of the AMD lineup. RBN, 32 mega hash. That is, that is beyond a 1080 performance. Try some Burt coin, number 38. Let's got to run for a second. Looks like we got 64 out of the box on VTC. So 7.38 grin performance. Let's see if it goes up any. We're at 190 watts right now on this whole system. So people are, all, you know, send me messages a lot about asking, hey, I have two gigabyte cards. Um, is there anything I can mine with that? So Ubik usually is my go-to um, to tell people that they can mine with the two gigabyte cards. Depending if they're AMD two gigabyte cards, you can go still with something like Monero. Um, but if you want something that you're still able to acquire coins on, um, uh, quite a bit of coins right now that are of a low value, um, something like eGem or uh, Ubik are both coins you can go after with that. So 41.3, we'll do beam and then we'll end this one and then we'll put the 2080 Ti in. Yeah, it looks like it's just, I'm gonna give it the high note here of 23.8, which was kind of the upper limit of where it was at. 23.8, but that's not far off the 2060, just letting you know, 